Due to a last-minute increase in the uw Platteville Television Services budget, the following program is presented in color. Well, I got friends in low places where the wits, yeah, the fine and lovely talented and producer of Sunday Night, Dr. C. Ray Coel. How you doing? Well, leave me alone, Todd. No, no, come on, come on, please. I need a favor from you, please. What, Todd? What is it? I, I want to favor. Right. Uh, now, you know how much I love Garth Brooks? Uh-huh. All right, I'm going down. I want to go down to Chicago tonight after the show because... No, no, listen, because, because you know, I want to stand in line for tickets because Brooks is going to be there next week, and I really want tickets for this. And I don't know Chicago that well. I know that you live in Philly, so you drive through Chicago on your way home, and I want you to go with me just so I can, so you can show me Chicago, you know, get me there, and then you can come back. Please, will you go with me, please? No. Why? Come on, please, please, come on, go with me. Why Todd, not? would you stop bothering me? Besides, I'm going with that. What? Yes, Todd. We're on a mission to find car 54. Okay. Did you see that? I can't believe I that. Know. Todd wrote the cold open himself. I know it. You know, no consultation. I knew it was going to be a matter of time before we're gone. Did you write that? Did I write it? I've been standing here for the last five minutes telling you I had no part of it. <laughs> Garth Brooks. Garth Brooks. Garth Brooks. Garth Brooks. Garth Brooks. <laughs> I get it. No and problem. Ed Denine. Ed Denine. He uses the yeah. same line he used last week. The no. car 54, it's not going to work two weeks Really, ago. to me, that's the root of the whole problem. Do you think we'd have recycled the same joke week in, week out? Never. I know. We'd not. Exercise goddess Billy and baseball car dealer Keith Schwarting, plus our house band, The Eclectics. Now, your host, a man who steams up car windows at will, Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you very much. Uh, our fine Sunday night band. Let's give them another hand over there. Yes, indeed. Welcome to the show, everyone, and uh, glad you're along with us for, for week two. And quite frankly, after last week's show, I'm, I'm glad there's a week two, too. But, uh, you know, uh, I think part of the problem was the monologue went a, a little little rough last week. If you saw any of it, uh, of course, uh, some of the jokes dealt with the ATF and, and uh, Bosnia Herzegovina and, you know, right over the head because, well, you know, as we all know, most of us are enrolled uh, in some of the lower uh, curricul curriculums here at Platteville anyway. So a little rough, a little rough but last week. I think a lot of that was due uh, partly to the part, well, I didn't really know what it, was, what it was due to. So we sent our crack research staff of Sunday night out to do some research on this, find out why our jokes didn't get any laughs. Well, our problem was, and, and I didn't realize this, our problem was the majority of our audience is deaf Spaniards. That's right, as, as weird as it may seem, deaf Spaniards are the, most, are the people that watch our show the most. So, so here now, to help us out th on this week's show, is my lovely and talented sister, Heather Albaugh, who is going to sign the language uh, for us in sign language. Uh, can, we, can we bring her up here? Is she, is she in the, I think she's around. Oh, there she is, look at that. Hi, Heather, how you doing? Whoops, over here. How you doing? Very nice. Uh, so here we go uh, now uh, with our monologue for this week. We hope you, hope you enjoy it. Buenos dias a uh, todos uh, en noche. Mi amigos, si los va de El Salvador, os sea, muy bueno. El tienen muy grande pene and muy suave papusa. So right there, I think that's, that was a, our, our problem. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that joke. Uh, here now, uh, one of the, a couple of things uh, that you may not have known very quickly in the news. I read the paper just before I came out here. Baylor University lost this week in, in, uh, in football, and they're now 0-5 uh, on the season, much like our own pioneers. But, but uh, uh, now 0-5 on the season. Now, of course, Baylor University located in Waco, Texas, uh, down there in Waco, Texas. So uh, a lot of people are saying their whole season has just gone up in smoke. 
so I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> uh, also, did you know? Did you know this? Uh, it happens to be National Pretzel Month here in October. I guess I'm German, and so it's National Pretzel Month. And Glenview Commons, our food commons on the University of Wisconsin Platteville, giving out free samples now of pretzels every time you go to Glenview Commons. Free samples of pretzels. And uh, you know, come to think about it, it's also National Breast Month. I wonder if I have time to stop by Health Services for a free sample after I get done. <coughs> but you know. <sighs> Anyway, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we hope you enjoy the show tonight. Uh, it's a great show. Uh, we have Keith Twarding, professional baseball card salesman, is on the program tonight. Let's give him a hand. That's right. Also, uh, we have uh, Billy, the aerobics workout girl, the Bulgarian bombshell, if you will. Let's give her a hand as well. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's say hello to our fine Sunday night band and Tom and the boys. How are you doing tonight, Tom? Thanks, Todd. Uh, I'd like to introduce uh, our drummer tonight. His name is John Crinky, uh -huh. and uh, he's subbing for us, or he's our regular drummer tonight. Yeah. Exactly. Now, uh, so this is the band that's going to be with us now for the rest of the week. We have seven yeah, these more are shows. The boys. Yeah. We have seven shows left, including tonight's, if all goes well. Seven? Seven. Oh, <laughs> you going to be here for all seven? Well... Uh, we have, we'll talk about it later. All right, it's very good. So we have seven shows, and, and then uh, we're done for the semester. So, uh, well, right now we are, we're welcoming, uh, once again, our, our fine uh, little uh, our sidekick, if you will, Troy Everson, back in the program. Troy, I saw you yesterday. Yes, you did. Over the weekend. Had, did you have a good weekend? I had an excellent weekend. Really? Now, what is, you, is it a excellent weekend or an excellent I weekend? I don't know. I have flunked English. All right. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Which ain't far from the truth. Uh, <laughs> but uh, uh, we went to the, did a little wedding this weekend. Our friend Renee Jones not got mine. married. Not no, mine. Well, no, not yours. All Our right. friend Renee Jones got married. And uh, you, yes. were, you were a little wasted over the weekend, weren't you? Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, well, that's good. You know, uh, it's it, that reminds me really of a great joke. You know, I, I haven't really told that many that many good jokes on on the air. I'm over here. Thank you very much. Uh, I haven't told that many really great jokes on, on the air so much. But uh, you know, Troy, here's one. Here's one for you that that I think you're really gonna love. All right, these two guys walk into a bar. All right, and and, and they go into the bar. The bartender is, is talking to him, and he says, come on over here. We right? interrupt your yeah, regularly yeah. scheduled it's program to really bring you the following show, special says. message. Oh, producer yeah. Here Clark is Jilson, UW Platteville student, resident Sunday assistant, night. and legal Here's resident of New York, Clark H.B. Jolson. caused by automobile Jilson. emissions. Exhaust fumes from your car contribute to acid rain, smog in metropolitan areas, and the possible warming of the Earth's surface, a phenomenon called the greenhouse effect. Unless we all take measures to curb this problem, It'll only be a matter of time before we're all gasping for air. So let's sell all of our cars and start hoofing it because it's better for you and me and the planet as well. We now return you to your regular, regularly scheduled program. So, so he takes the gun hose out of his golf bag and he sinks the 53 foot putt. <laughs> <laughs> oh god that's that's the greatest joke i tell you stay tuned we're going to be back after this we have uh, uh all kinds of we have a great show for you tonight and uh, it's going to be good billy is on the program the aerobics workout girl yeah. and she's she's a hot little item i do that with her i do aerobics <laughs> do you really yeah well it doesn't show get on a better program <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so stay tuned. We have more. Uh, Chuck has given me the, the stretch sign here. We're continuing to stretch. We also have a very special <laughs> surprise when we come back and uh, uh, a lot more to come. So stay with us. Keith Schwarty, professional baseball card salesman, next. You know, a man who befriends a mule should expect to be kicked. Careful with matches and campfires. Remember, only you can prevent forest fires. Sorry, force of habit. Bummer. Tonight, Dolores had a few drinks, did some crack, and ended up another tragic story. Only she doesn't know it yet. Drugs make you forget. And if you forget how risky sex can be, you could catch the AIDS virus and not know it for months 
even years. AIDS, another way drugs can kill. Sunday Night Band, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, before we bring out uh, Keith Schwartz, you, you never know who's going to stop by our Sunday Night Show. That's why you always need to be here in the studio audience to see who is exactly going to be here each and every week. Ladies and gentlemen, next week we're going to be very happy when Sly from WIBA-FM is with us, and uh, we're all looking forward to it. Of course, we've been promoing it uh, throughout the course of the semester so far. But here he is, a week early, just to give you a taste, just to give you, to kind of tease you a little bit. Ladies and gentlemen, Sly from WIBA. Come on down a second, Sly. <laughs> Here he is, a, a week early. I just thought I'd give the corrupt Platteville Police Department twice the opportunity to arrest me as I come sailing into town on 1851. That's a nice force, isn't it? Well, it is. It is, it is a nice force, and they were good enough to let us in the campus police. Did you ever have any run-ins when you went to school here at the campus police? No. Never. No. <laughs> I missed Twinkie Week last week. Just a second, just a second. Stay right there. I hear, you know, if you want, just a second. I always keep a, keep a supply on hand with me here. And just so we, you don't go home empty-handed, here, take a couple of Twinkies home with you. There you go. Thanks. Hey, I come, oh. So you're, you're coming back next week, right? Yeah. All right. And uh, we'll look forward to having you back then. Happy to stop by and see the saw, saw the Oh, show. no, any time I can take a trip to Platteville. Like, yeah, <laughs> please, please, the pleasure is all mine. Exactly. All right. And we see, uh, just real quick before you go, I've seen now there's these new TV ads on, uh, for IBA. Yeah, when well, the got music these, doesn't yeah. match the, the performance, yeah, that's nice. And we got these, these sunglasses. Jeff Healy produced those for us. <laughs> really? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, so was that fun making those? I mean, just the sunglasses no, and everything? No, it was really Not stupid. It was a waste of my time. <laughs> it was stupid, and I don't think they'll accomplish a thing. But that's radio. That's, hey. what, that's what everybody has to look forward in this fine business. <laughs> I'm really, really happy you came by. I really appreciate you coming down this week. And, hey, I really appreciate you coming down and agreeing to come back next week. Great new Kmart. Really? I'm seeing that on the way. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, Sly. Right. Sly, we'll see you next, we'll see you next week. week. All, right. All right. Give him a big hand, ladies and gentlemen. Right, well, uh, give these a toss over there. There we go. Now, ladies and gentlemen, for our uh, first guest, uh, for the regular scheduled guest, ladies and gentlemen, welcome Keith Swarting, professional baseball card salesman. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Keith, how you doing? Good, how are you? Nice, nice to see you. Nice to have you on the show here this week. Great to be here. All right. Uh, let's, uh, first of all, uh, talk about a little bit about the Packers, about the game. Uh, I, I guess it says here you gave up Packer tickets to be here. Is that yes, true? Yes, I did. Where could you have gone? Uh, to, to Green Bay to, this to week. To Green Bay, yeah. That was kind of a stupid question. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking over here. Troy's bringing over a mic. Hi, Keith. Hi. How you doing? I'm fine. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, first of all, I guess uh, before we before we get uh, started into the collection, uh, just tell us a little bit about how you get to be a professional baseball card salesman. Like when I was a kid, now I had a few a few cards here and there or whatever. But how do you get to be a professional at this? I mean, what what got you interested? Well, basically, I decided not to go to college. So uh -huh. uh, I wish I had. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, um, I collected a lot from when I was a kid and mm -hmm. uh, accumulated quite a big collection. And uh, just uh, started doing shows, mm. and I worked for another store for a few years, and just uh, decided to go for it. I see. Now, do you do you have like a do you do this out of a basement somewhere? I mean, you live in Madison, is that yeah. correct? And yes. Do you have like a store or what's? Yeah, I have a store in Madison. Uh, it's in Nakoma Plaza on the west side. Um, we've been there for about two years. Mm -hmm. And uh, things are going real good. All right, great. Well, let's get into uh, the cards a little bit here. Are you dealing drugs? Are you on drug money in here? No, what's, what's I've, the deal? I've got cards. I've <laughs> All got right. Cards. Well, uh, too bad. Anyway, let's <laughs> open, it, open it up. I was thinking of free samples okay. or something. I don't know. Um, well, basically, I just bought. Uh, now, bought, Mike, Michael bought. Jordan. Michael Jordan uh, retired from from the NBA this week. Yes. Uh, that was a big, huge, huge story. I see. I got a couple of cards pertaining yes. to Michael. Well, this is probably Michael's most popular card. Let's, um, let's put this. Maybe let's put it down, right down sure. here. And maybe get a maybe get a shot of that. Okay, uh, that's Michael Jordan's rookie card. 
Really? Yes. And the, uh, the very first card ever. Uh, well, technically no, but uh -huh. uh, it is considered his rookie card. Um, it is one of his more valuable ones, um, and it's one of the most soft, sought after cards. How now? How much would a, a good card, I mean, a card in good condition like that, how much would that go for? Um, that's a near mint card that's well centered. Um, that'll go for about a thousand dollars. Really? Yes. Wow. So, uh, did you have police protection when you're coming down here? Well, <laughs> to this, I considered it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What else do you have now? In addition to this one, we have a. a, a well, this is. Uh, that is Michael Jordan's second year card right there. And all that's right. also, that one goes for about $200 in near mint condition. Uh -huh. um, all, Michael Jordan, especially this week with him retiring, very popular. Uh, a lot of customers wanting Michael Jordan stuff, and uh, it's been a real good seller. How much does that go for? Um, that one goes for about $200. Really? Wow. What else do you have in here? I see uh, um, different stuff. Well, uh, let's see. I brought a, uh, this is a 1956 Ernie Banks card. It says, actually, it's a third year card. That goes for about $125. And, all right. Uh, I brought all d just different sorts of things. This is uh, actually it's still in its wrapper there, but uh, that's a Robin Yount rookie card. From Kmart or something? No, yeah. obvi <laughs> obvi obviously not. Huh? Uh, well, wow, actually, that's... maybe it was from Kmart originally, but... Uh... Are they worth more? Now, I've, got a, I have, I've got a very, very small card collection, and they're not in good, good condition, but mm -hmm. I've heard if you keep things in the wrapper or the original box, they're worth more than if you take them out. Is that true? For unopened material, yeah. I mean, that, that the basic idea now is uh, people like to save the, the, the packs unopened because generally they'll sell for more later on when the cards appreciate in value. All right. Uh, now, do you, how much does this card go for? Uh, that one there, that's a, actually it's a mini rookie. Um, in 1975, they came out with two versions, uh -huh. and that's the scarcer version. Mm -hmm. um, that one sells for about $400. I see. All right. Uh, also, uh, let's see, we have a, a, here's a Barry Bonds card. Yes, that's the, a, was it, the Pirates. Barry Bonds rookie, uh, <sighs> 1987. He rookied in 86, but uh -huh. generally when, with cards, that comes out the year after that they rookie, or the, the, the stats will be from the year after. I see. And, uh, that go. one sells for about $32. All right. And that's. <clears throat> what else do we have now? Uh, I know our, our executive producer, Dr. Quell, is a big Eagles fan. Yes. And also Bo Ryan, our head football coach, is, of course, from Philly. Yes. He, he's a, Randall Cunningham. Oh, wow. He, he's, he's sporting some hair on this one. <laughs> Get a shot of that, yeah. Russ? I don't know. Cunningham rookies are going down. <laughs> <laughs> is that a fact? Yes, it is. Because of a broken leg, or, or what's the deal? Yeah, generally, just Cunningham can't seem to stay healthy, so... Uh... Uh, you there know, we go. Look at that hair, folks. Kind of a bad investment right now. Randall so. Cunningham. Wow, that's some, <laughs> that's some hair on him. Um, this this guy brought a lot of interest to the collector, um, to the to the hobby, <laughs> I should say. Uh, Shaq. <laughs> Drop the card. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's Shaq, all right. Shaquille O'Neal. How much is that worth? Uh, that particular card right there is worth about two hundred and fifty dollars. Holy mackerel! And that all just right. came out last year. Really? Yeah. Wow. Well, uh, we got to wrap it up here, Keith, but thank okay. you very much uh, for stopping down. I really you appreciate bet. it. And people can stop by Nakoma Plaza then if they want to catch it, right? You bet. All right. Thanks a lot. We're All right, back thank with you. Billy in a minute. All right. Uh, take care. We'll be back in one minute. <laughs> What do parents say about Shriners Hospitals? Shriners Hospital has done a lot for my son, Jesse, and I'm very thankful for what they have done. So it's a great place, and he always cries when he has to go home when he leaves this place. Shriners Hospitals, providing free expert medical care to children with orthopedic and burn problems. For information, call this toll-free number. Tony has some drinks, a few joints, and got into a fatal accident tonight. Only he doesn't know it yet. Drugs make you forget. And if you forget how risky sex can be, you could catch the AIDS virus and not know it for months, even years. AIDS, another way drugs can kill. How many times has this happened to you? You skip breakfast, and you're hungry long before noon. You should have taken the time to eat a balanced, nutritious breakfast, but you didn't know what to eat. With all of the cereals out there, it's so hard to choose. Which one is right for me? And how many times have you been constipated in the morning? 
Constipation can make everyday activities a real nightmare. Wouldn't it be great if there were a product that could solve both of these problems, something delicious and nutritious that could make you regular once again? Well, now there is. It's a breakfast cereal and a laxative. It's Metamucilix. Yes, Metamucilix is fortified with 15 essential vitamins and minerals. And it's gentle, like an old friend. Metamucilix, available at supermarkets and pharmacies everywhere. Different mic. There we go. The mic is different. Anyway, just a, a little technical snafu, but we're working it all out, folks. Little by little, as I said last week, we build. Anyway, I think we have, I think we have Kevin O'Connor on mic over there. Well, let's, let's go over and see. Let's, can we go over here? I think, I think we go over here. Kevin's on mic. Kev? Kev, you're on mic. No, I'm not. <laughs> we have that mic going. Oh, how you doing? Here. Oh, I'm doing just, just fine. Just say hi. Kevin O'Connor, our green room coordinator and WSUP sports director. Give him a big hand. There he is. Let's we, go back in there. Now, who's on next? Uh, huh? Billy is on next. Okay, because she's little, waiting. It's a little cold out here. Too. All right, well, tell her, tell her to keep her pants on. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, no, ladies and gentlemen, we are very happy to have with us tonight, uh, all the way from Bulgaria, a professional workout uh, instructor with us tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, Billy, give her a big hand. <laughs> Settle down out there. All right. Uh, well, we're very happy to have you on the show, well, first of all. That's why you called me a Bulgarian bounce out. <laughs> that's right. You know what? I was thinking, I can what? bring you to court for that. Really? I'll sue you a... for racial discrimination uh -huh. and for um, sexual discrimination. Really? And Is you know what? What? We can settle it right here. How? How? If. How, if, can, I, how can I make if, it up to you? If, if you agree to do aerobics with me later on, how's that? All right. If I if I do aerobics, you'll drop yeah. all that. Yeah. Right. We're still friends. Right. All right. We thanks. are. <laughs> but you you must promise you'll never do that again. I promise. I'll never do it. Again. Okay. All right. Let's take it from here. <laughs> First of all, you know I I don't think a lot of people realize that you are actually a professional. I mean, a lot of us like like here doing this show. This is a student production. You know, right. We haven't been on any kind of a network or anything like that. Right. You know? And, uh, but you have over, over in uh, Bulgaria. Right. Uh, and just tell us a little bit about your first show over there. Well, my first show was a uh, part of um, a Good Morning Bulgaria show, which is really? much... Really? So like Good Morning Vietnam or I mean Good Morning uh, America? No, it's more like Good Morning America. Uh -huh. And uh, I was part of a group of uh, four other girls that were doing the show. Uh -huh. And uh, after a year on the show, I got... Do I need this from Ichuk? <laughs> All right, thank you. I, I was offered to take it from there and be the only person uh -huh. they used for the show and that's how it started uh -huh. after that i had uh, another show which was on on a sunday it was a 45 specially aerobic show uh -huh. and it was great <laughs> wow so this is all like a weekly or is it daily a type of thing or no what? it was only on weekends mm -hmm. only on weekends um the first one was only on a saturday week on a saturday morning mm -hmm. and the other one was on a sunday afternoon i see all right uh i know you you uh uh, debuted about four years ago. Is that true? Yep, that in is Bulgaria? true. Okay. That is true. My and parents. Then how did, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. My parents. It was really funny because my parents were on a trip to India and mm -hmm. they left two teenagers in a huge apartment, you know, with no mm -hmm. guidance at all. Uh -huh. So the place was uh, staying absolutely in a cacophony. We had uh, with my sister parties and stuff like that, and she finally said, "We have to take care of that. Mm -hmm. Let's hire a maid." But we didn't have the money to hire a maid. Mm -hmm. So she said, well, why don't you go on? And that's how I decided to go on alone in aerobics. Let's go on. Let's do it. Do it alone. You'll mm -hmm. get more money and we'll get to hire ourselves a maid. So my parents were really amazed when they came ho home after six months of uh, being in India and found, well, the house was kept pretty nice, you know, <laughs> <laughs> and our daughter was on TV. Great. <laughs> so, so you got on TV then. And what made you, I mean, you had this TV show over there. What made you want to come here to Platteville? What brought you to Platteville, Wisconsin? I am still wondering about that. <laughs> I don't. Well, we all are, I think. My father was with me when we were coming down here. We were riding in a, rent a rental car from New York because we had to stop in the way and meet some uh -huh. people, some business friends of his. 
And uh, suddenly, as we entered the Wisconsin area, it started to be like that. As far as you can see, fields uh -huh. and cows and fields uh -huh. and more cows until we finally, finally stopped in Platteville. Uh -huh. But it was a challenge. I had, it was that time of my life when I had to make, you know, a change. Now, don't they have cows and fields in Bulgaria or what? I didn't know this place had so many know. fields and cows. Really? But there's a good part. <laughs> there's now, see, a good I come from a farming community, so, you know, I, I kind of like cows. Me you know. too, you know, I, I love animals. Well, I, I don't have... like them that much, but, you know, I... Well, I don't know, you know, you're a little bit of a sexist sometimes, you know, with that... <laughs> oh, bon... that with that, uh... <laughs> what was it? Bulgarian, uh... How did you call Bombshell? me? Bombshell, yeah. yeah. I called, you know, uh, you know Judy Dagendorf, one of our business teachers? <laughs> I called her leggy super teacher, Judy Dagendorf. Uh-oh. Okay, so I shouldn't be insulted no, that much. No, so no, it's a compliment. Okay, all know. right. <laughs> so but, you came here and you got here to Platteville, mm -hmm. and now where are you majoring in? What's your major? I was first into sciences, then first I... First into sciences, like in gunpoint first, or what? First. Oh, oh, forest, forest. First. Sciences, okay. First. Forest. First. First. Oh, first. First. Thank you. I F-I-R-S-T. Right? All right, first. Okay, and I was in biology. Uh -huh. And then uh, this semester I switched into an English major because I decided that as long as I'm here, I should uh -huh. learn, you know, perfect in my English. Right. Uh -huh. You do so very well. I am. Uh -huh. I think I am. Yeah. How long, you know, how long have you been in the United States? Um, two years. Only two years? Yeah. Did you, did you but know any English when you came? In, I knew English when I came because uh, before that, in the 80s, I lived in the United States, down, on, down right. on the East Coast in Philadelphia. Uh -huh. uh, my father was working there, so that's when I basically learned English. It All was right. easy after that. <laughs> and uh, let's see, what else have we got here? Uh, your father was afraid to drop you off in Platteville, is that true? Yeah, well, it was just that incident, you know, when we were dri driving through the fields, uh -huh. and he was like, oh my God, where am I taking my child, you know? <laughs> and, well, you must understand, I mean, New York is one thing, right? Uh -huh. And we were coming from there. And before that, we had spent a summer in uh, Paris and Greece and uh -huh. stuff like that. All right. So, Plaville was really small. And right. uh, I had three days to decide if I want to stay or go. I decided to stay. I don't know why. <laughs> Well, I think we're, we're going to take a, maybe, maybe a break and then come back and, and do a little, I'll, I'll, I'll do good and I'll, I'll do your aerobic workout. Is that great. right, Chuck? We'll take a break and then come back and we'll work out with Billy, all right? So all stay right. tuned. Workout with Billy is next on Sunday night. Thank you so much for joining us, everyone. Back in a moment. My friends, depend on me, Smokey P, to voice a plea. Respect the forest, protect our trees. No, what I do Yes, small baby. What's the trouble? Round. This is a me. Smoke, you're 50. We agreed you'd talk to kids in their language. I know, but I'll just give it to them straight. <clears throat> kids, only you can prevent forest fires. Smokey, the <clears throat> Smoke. I gotta get back to the forest. What do parents say about Shriners Hospitals? The Shriners saved Adam's life. To me, Shriners were funny people who rode on motorcycles. <laughs> but. I mean, they take care of people. They care so much for the kids. I've never seen people who, I mean, in my whole life, I've never seen people who give so much. For information, call this toll-free number. Is that okay? Sure. We have a shortage of supply of microphones. Is sure, that all right? Okay. All right. So now uh, I have agreed to do a little workout with Billy. I have to. I have to admit to you that I've got a little, a little like a tire around here. You know, I, I've, I've gained a little weight here. I've gained a little weight in the legs. Yeah, this I can summer. see that. I can see that. Todd. It's not hard to see that. You know, I know. I have, okay. And I have, can see your problem. We have Sly coming on the show mm -hmm. next week, of course, and and you know, I, I, want, I want to slim down a little bit. Okay. I, I need to lose like about eight pounds in order to be at my. Idea. All right. I like to weigh around 147. Uh, I'll show you some exercises. All right. Can we start They'll the music, help. Russ? Uh, can we start the music here, and, and we'll get to see we'll get to see exactly the, uh, the workout here. So for you, start the music. For my love, love's going. All right. There's your music. Okay, I want your feet apart. All right. I want you to step side to side. We are warming up. Uh -huh. So keep your shoulder up. Shoulder to shoulder. One, 
two and we're counting, always counting in aerobics. Four, five, six, well, come on, seven, and eight. And two, you got it. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now I want your feet together and I want you to step to the front. Okay? Now move your hands. One, two, two. Three, come on, move those feet. Knees high. Well, that's okay, that's okay, but you get to follow me now. So stick with me. Four, right, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, once your hands going up, you're doing the same step with your feet. Three more. Two more. One more. Now I want a really strong arm going in front of your chest. Two, three, four, come on, five, come on. Step forward. Okay, we're starting from the beginning here because we have a newcomer. All right. Okay, guys, now stand in line with me. Step forward and the other leg. Now go back. Okay, once again. Come on, pick up the music. Go the hands. Three. Four. Five. You're doing great. Six. Seven. And eight. Okay, now I want to march in. One, two, three, and four. Now open up those legs. Two, three, four. Open them. Five, six, seven, and eight. Now close and open. Close and open. Come on, try it. One. Come on, try it. Four. Five. Six. Seven. One more. And eight. Okay, now stand, legs are apart, knees are soft, and stretch to the side. Okay, this will get rid of that fat you said you have got. Okay, let's get to the other side. Both hands up and inhale deeply. And exhale one more time. Okay. That's great. One more time. Right. October was a drag. Okay, now step side to side. Come on. One, huh? -huh. Right. Two. Three. Now I want you to work with the hands. Four. Five. Six. You want you want to clap? You can clap. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Hand up. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. To the front. Set. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven and eight. Down again. All right, All right that's it. Woo, okay, now right, inhale. We're running out of little time. We gotta go to a break. Is that okay? It's okay. All right. Now, so now after we're all cooled down and everything, then uh, these guys are back here. But then if there's we have to do it every day. You have to do it at least three times a day. All right. You stop you have to stop no, no, eating here. fat. Uh-huh. They're really good in breathing, but that won't help them too much. Well, you know, uh-huh. And uh, yeah, that's it. All right, wonderful. Hey, Billy, we, now what your show is on Thursday nights? Thursday and Saturday. No, so, yeah, Thursday and Saturday. Saturday at 5.30? 5.30 and 10. 5.30 and 10. And you so can do that can with me. And do it right. with Billy every week on TV5. Right. Hey, right. We'll watch the program. Billy, thank you so much for uh, being on the show. I really hey, appreciate you coming. you're welcome. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, Billy, and stay tuned for a piece with JFK next on Sunday nights. Yeah. Thanks, Lana. Go ahead. Hey. Oh. Hey, what's going on? Shh, Smokey's coming. What are you guys up to? <laughs> Be careful with matches and campfires. Remember, only you can prevent forest fires. <laughs> Sorry, force of habit. This is where they party, where Denise met Michael. They danced, they joked, they did a little crack and went up here, where she took the wrong step that ended everything. Only she doesn't know it yet. Drugs make you forget, 
And if you forget how risky sex can be, you could catch the AIDS virus and not know it for years. AIDS, another way drugs can kill. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Sunday Night, the program with everything you want to know and then some things you don't. Uh, wasn't Billy great, our studio audience? Give her a big hand again. Yeah. <laughs> Billy, Billy did a great job, and uh, again, uh, 5.30 and 10 o'clock on Thursdays and uh, sa Saturdays is where you can see the, uh, the program and uh, tune in for that. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, we uh, go to our piece, uh, which we have entitled, Jace, Our Fine Over Actors. So, ladies and gentlemen, sit back and enjoy Jace our fine over actor. Americans, I say, ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. Ladies and gentlemen, Jace, our over actor. Give him a big hand. There we are. Did a fine, fine job. Well, uh, uh, we, have a, we have a couple of minutes here, uh, uh, the program running, running a little short, as it were. But uh, we're going to have uh, Keith Swarning, our, our baseball card salesman, come up very briefly. And then we're going to take another break. And then we, we got some of the band. So, uh, so that's how things are, are going to roll here. So, uh, so ladies and gentlemen, once again, welcome Keith Swarning, our baseball card salesman, one more time as he, as he comes back out. So. Here he is, the baseball music's playing, Keith. That, like that, that's, nice. that's pretty nice. All right, here. Uh, Microphones are, are kind of getting goofed up here. All right. So, uh, nice to I'm sorry, what happened, see, was you were supposed to get two segments, and I, I, and I goofed up. Well, that's all right. I apologize for that. Oh, that's okay. So we had Billy on, but now you're back. So, you know, so, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> the, guys, the guys in the band giving us a little one of these. <laughs> uh, so, now, are you going to come back? Slice coming back next week. Can you come back, too? Sure. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> no, no. We, no we love to have you back, but, you know. Do you really want me back? Well, maybe not next week, some other time. Sure. When we get like another big sports, sporting news. Sure. Like if Robin Yelp retires. Yes. We'll have you back and talk about, about Robin Yelp. That would be great. So uh, do you listen to Sly? You live in Madison. Yes, I do. You do? Yes, I do. Do you, what, do you find him funny? Do he like is him? hilarious. All right. Just, uh, I just like his raw sense of humor and uh -huh. uh, just the way he comes back at people, you know? It's sure. just uh, uh, Sly expresses what he feels and he's not afraid to do it and I like that. Uh -huh. well, that's good. So uh, what else is happening in Madison right now? Anything, any big news? Now, Nick Nolte is down there, and Julia Roberts. Have you, yeah, got, I, have uh, you gotten to see any of them? And they're filming no, down the I, I haven't. That's more downtown. I'm more on the west side. So right. uh, They never asked to like, come in your baseball card and, and shop and like, film or anything? No. Well, I, I heard that Nick Nolte likes to collect cards. So, really? Uh, no, not really. But. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, it sounded good. <laughs> I did not know that. So, uh, so uh, otherwise, nothing else new down in Madison? No, it's nothing new. Same old Madison. Same old Madison. Now, do you go like to, I know I have another friend that, that kind of does this too. Do you guys go like to baseball card shows where you where you go and like to conventions or whatever? Yeah, occasionally we do. Uh, we used I used to do it a lot Not, more than I do now. But I uh, heard you can make like ten grand at one show. Oh yeah, do it's, it right. it's very you know I. I won't say exactly what I've made at shows, but uh, you can do very well. I mean, it's you can make ten grand. Ten grand. Yeah, yeah, it's very easily, wow. very easily. Well, Keith, hey, I really do appreciate you coming back on the show here uh, for the second segment. I appreciate you coming down, and uh, I've, it's been inter interesting. I had no idea that those Jordan cards were worth that much. Yep. So, hey, take care, Keith, okay. and we'll, we'll see you later. Uh, when we come back, ladies and gentlemen, we have a, a feature from our band. So stay tuned on Sunday night. Back in a moment with more of us. So uh, stay tuned uh, for that. You know, a man who chooses to wear a fig leaf should not dance with hungry goats. <laughs> oh! Hey, what's going on? Shh, Smokey's coming. What are you guys up to? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Be careful with matches and campfires. Remember, only you can prevent forest fires. Sorry, force of habit. Bummer. Tonight, Dolores had a few drinks, did some crack, and ended up...
up another tragic story. Only she doesn't know it yet. Drugs make you forget. And if you forget how risky sex can be, you could catch the AIDS virus and not know it for months, even years. AIDS, another way drugs can kill. And we are back. We have, uh, we have a couple minutes here at the end of the show, almost done with the program here. But uh, again, we ran a little bit short tonight. And uh, I thought it'd be great to come over here and, and uh, just, uh, Tom, once again, you guys do a great job. Thank and you. Uh, everybody, you sound really super. And, uh, you know, I, I, I hate to impose on you here, but I, I guess I'll be a bit selfish at the end if I could. You know, I love the, the tune, the tune uh, Mood Indigo. Uh, Indigo. And if you could play that for me, just, just briefly, I, I would love to do that. If you guys could just play it just a little bit, you know, it'd be super. Ah, wait, 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 wait. Just, you know, that was great. That was great. That is one of my favorite tunes. I love that tune. But there is one more. There's another one that I like a little bit better. It's called All of Me. Can you do that one? You want, you want All of Me? All of Me. I know, I know it's, you know, I know it. Please, just All of Me. That'd be great. I really appreciate that. We just, how much time? We have a little bit more time. All of me. That'd be great. That'd be super. Uh-huh. Can, Can we do all of me? Is that possible? Sure. All right. Beautiful. That'd be great. One, two, one, two, three, four. Oh, no, 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 that was great. That was great. That was great. But, you know, the tune I really loved, guys, you know, is So What. That's got to be like my all-time classic. It's like, great. If you can play So What, you know, you guys, that'd be great. That'd be super. Yeah, whatever you want. <laughs> I love I love So What. I can't help so it. So What. So What. It's a great tune. I'd love, to, I'd love to hear a little bit of it if you could, you know. All right. Take it away, Dan. That that was the tune I wanted to hear, and you know I you know I'm no music connoisseur or anything, but you guys were a little little flat on that last tune. Flat? Yeah, you were a little flat, and you know I, if you could maybe you know jazz it up a little bit or, or whatever, you're know, a little flat. So. Do you guys believe this guy? I can't believe it. There's no flats in that tune. Yeah, it, there's no flats in that tune. Well, I'm sure there was. It's my favorite tune. <laughs> Who the hell are you? All right, well you know don't but don't leave or any you know what's the matter? Hey guys, you want to put up with this? I quit. We're out of Well, you quit? No, 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 please, please. Don't leave. No, jeez. Jeez, don't, don't go, leave. I, I gotta have a band. I can't. Wait. Just, hey, guys. Tom, wait. Tom, 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 Tom. There's, there's Twinkies again this week. There, there are, there are Twinkies. Yes. There we go. There you go, guys. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, our fine Sunday night band and join Twinkies. Let's give them a hand. Yeah. Well, uh, that brings about uh, to the end. Bill, again, they're passing them out again. That brings about uh, to the end of our Sunday night program for this week. Thanks a lot to the studio audience. Guys, thanks a lot for showing up. Really appreciate it. Give yourselves a hand. Uh, next week, we have Sly on the program, ladies and gentlemen. Be here. Sly is here. Next week, we'll see you next Sunday night. See you later.